Not sure what the market's doing right now or what it's going to do in the future. Stick around as we get into that in the question of the day. What's going on, guys? Matt in the hat. Matt Johnson Real Estate, powered by Keller Williams Diamond Partners. You are tuned in to the hot list. I come to you on Monday through Friday each and every week around 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. We hang out and talk real estate. We talk properties new to the market with recent price reductions or something unique about the property that I want to share with y'all and want y'all to know. I also answer a question of the day that is submitted by a listener of the podcast. And to find out how you get your question answered on air, just hang out with me till the end. Finally, I recognize and thank a sponsor of the week each and every single week. If that's something that you're interested in or want some more information about it, all you got to do is stay tuned for a few minutes and I will get that information to you. As you guys are jumping in here, make sure that you share this out, whether it is through Facebook Messenger, uh, whether it's YouTube, iTunes, whatever, whatever the case may be, make sure you like, share this out, send it to somebody who could benefit from this or that may just be curious about additional information. As you guys can tell that are tuning in live with me, it is not 12 o'clock. I had some meetings this morning and some appointments ran a little longer than expected. So getting it done now. So thank you guys for hanging out with me and tuning in. The property we're talking about today is a newly listed property. The address is 615 Main Street in Cottonwood Falls. So just a few miles away from the Emporia area. It's a four bed, two bath house. It's got 1,561 square feet of finished space, currently listed for 147.5 courtesy of Eck Real Estate. So this house is a two story house, has a detached two car garage that actually has an unfinished loft in the top. You could finish that off for additional storage or you know maybe maybe you wanna make a man cave, what, whatever the case may be. They've got updates throughout the house. There's updates in the kitchen. They've got updated hardwood, uh, carpet, updated paint, as well as uh, updated some walls. Plenty of cabinet storage in the kitchen. There's actually a bonus family room right off the kitchen as well. So you got your, you got your dining room, your living room, kitchen, plus a bonus room right off the kitchen as well. And that family room actually has a wood stove in it, keep you nice and warm, especially on days like today. The laundry on this house is located on the main floor, got a deck off the back, and your own private balcony off the primary bedroom as well. So for more information or to see the pictures of the property, all you gotta do is click on the link in the description. It's gonna take you right to my website so you can see the property for yourself. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. If you are a pre-approved buyer not currently working with an agent, I would be happy to help answer some questions for you, even show you the property if you are already, already pre-approved want to see it firsthand. Before I get to the question of the day, I do want to recognize and thank our sponsor of the week this week, and that is C. Allen Doors. They are located right here in the Emporia area. Their address is 419 Merchant Street here in town. You can call them directly 620-341-9801. Uh, just a reminder, because we got to talking a little bit about some of the doors that, that they offer and and service so to expand on that a little bit they service a number of different variety of doors uh, they also install patio doors french doors storm doors uh, entry doors they do interior doors exterior doors and they also do a number of overhead doors so they will also install those as well as service them and if you're looking for what type, maybe you have a newer garage door you're looking to replace, you can, you just need to replace the, um, the opener was, was drawn a blank. Maybe just need to replace the opener itself. They offer Lanier and LiftMaster 
operators. So all you got to do, like I said, call them directly or swing by their, their shop and take a look for yourself and speak with them. If you are interested in becoming a sponsor of the week and curious how you can do it, just shoot me a message directly or drop a comment and we'll have a little bit further conversation of what it takes to become a sponsor of the week and support the hot list for a Monday through Friday period. All right, so that brings us to the question of the day. Just for those new to the to the podcast, the question of the day is submitted by a listener of the podcast each and every day, Monday through Friday, I do this. I answer a question that is asked by a listener. Now, I do get questions that are related to each other or duplicates, especially over the last nine, nine to ten months. And questions such as, what's the market doing right now? What are interest rates? Are they trending up? Are they trending down? Is now a good time to buy? Or is now a good time to sell? I'm thinking of selling, but I want to wait until fill fill in the blank. So questions like that, I I lump into one category. And on Tuesdays, I do a weekly market update, and that's an update on listings in the in the area, as well as what interest rates are, and just kind of explain what the market has done over the last seven days and over the last 30 days. So the market may look a little different depending on the area that you live. The update that I'm giving is the area that I directly sell and service in the Lyon County as well as the surrounding county areas. So if you don't live in this area and curious what the market is doing, I would be happy to put you in touch with somebody that would be a market expert in the area that you live and get you going and get you some information there. So in the Lyon County area over the last seven days, we've had two listings that have come on the market. 10 have gone under contract or sold. In the rolling 30, we've had 11 come on the market. 40 have gone under contract or sold. Those are continuing with the numbers that we've been seeing over the last several months. We have so many more going off the market than we have coming on that's that's nothing new and we're just doing the best we can as agents to help as many people as possible as well as educate as many people as possible in the while doing this so those ones that have sold over the last 30 days the average days on market has been 38 days and in the six county surrounding area we've had Two go on the market. Twelve have gone under contract or sold within the last seven days. In that same row in 30, we've had 10 come on the market and 39 have gone under contract or sold with an average days on market of 102. Now, those are those average days are a little bit higher because of a couple properties that had been listed for an extended period of time. So that is going to be skewed a little bit because those have just recently sold. As far as what the average days on market in this particular area are, uh, as of December, the average days on market are or have been 38. At a national level across the U.S., the average days on market has been 66. <clears throat> and for those asking and curious about interest rates, so I do have the updated interest rates. These are as of 9 a.m., Today, January 26, 2021, for conventional loan, 30-year fixed is 2.86, 15-year is 2.36, 30-year FHA is 2.62%, and the 30-year VA is 3.11%. For any of those looking to refinance or curious what the refi rates are right now, the 30-year conventional is 2.88, 15-year is 2.40, and the 10-year, which is becoming more popular, is 2.41. Also, FHA has a 30-year refi option that's 2.54%, uh, 
as well as the VA at 3.0%. So the market is, is still showing very strong, relatively low days on market. The housing is still trending as far as is it is it slower this year or is it going to pick back up? The simple answer is yes, because it historically does. January, first part of February is typically the slowest time of the year, even with COVID going on. That is that has not changed anything. So will the market pick back up? Yes, it will. It it always does. It did slow down a little bit last year during COVID with some of the shelter in place with the vaccine coming out, whether you choose to take it or not, that is entirely up to you. Since that is out, I expect that things will start opening back up. Cases of recovery will be going up while positive cases of COVID will be going down, all trending towards a stronger market as the year progresses. So, that is going to do it for the question of the day. If you guys have any questions, not sure where to start, I would be happy to be the real estate resource that you reach out to and, you know, just just start with. So thank you for watching the hot list. Again, I'm your host, Matt Johnson with Keller Williams Diamond Partners. I do this because your experience matters and should be trusted with a veteran. Y'all have a phenomenal Tuesday and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.